Okay, welcome to Hexagon Metrology's PC Demon software. This demonstration is for a manual machine. We're going to start the process off by creating a brand new program. When we first start the process, the first thing it does is it opens up the probe utilities window. This utility is used to qualify all your different probes and uh, one of the nice things is it is always opens up the very last probe that you used. If you happen to be using a different kind of stylus, you can always open up the previous probe files that you've done, pick it, and continue on. Okay, this is uh, the you know one of uh, many styles of PCDMAS layouts. Uh, you're going to see uh, an object editor on the left hand side. This is the large area as your graphics window where everything you measure gets dumped into. And then the perimeter of the screen basically is however way you want to design the layout. Um, I've actually got three different layout designs depending on the demonstration that I'm doing. This particular layout is my, my minimalistic layout, meaning uh, the least number of buttons that I need to get the job done. Um, that's kind of how I like it. So uh, we'll, we'll flip between the two diff the different layouts and show you what, what else is available. But it's completely customizable to your own needs. That's the beauty of it. First thing we're going to do is import a CAD model. Now, for those of you who don't have CAD models or are not looking at our PCDMS CAD product, uh, maybe you're looking at our PCDMS Pro, which is our non-CAD product, think of this as simply a, a part that, that I'm putting on the table. All right, if you would. So I'm going to ask you to do a little imagining here, using a little imagination. So. Uh, Again, for those people, we've just dropped this part onto the granite surface and we want to start measuring it. So we bring our machine over to the part. And in most softwares, what you're used to is sort of fumbling through uh, a menu of sorts to choose what it is that you want to do. And then you go over to the machine and you do that, that thing, whatever it is. And then you keep going back and forth between the software and the, and the machine. Um, one of the really nice things about PCDMIS is its feature recognition capability. So it really eliminates that back and forth uh, requirement. Literally, you just go to the part, take your machine, start putting hits on it. When you're done measuring whatever it is you're trying to measure, in this case the top surface as a plane, you click a little done button and it uh, automatically figures out what it is that you're measuring and it labels it uh, on the screen for you. In this case it figured out it was a plane, it labeled it plane 1. As I measure the front surface, press done, it figured out that was a line, it labeled it line 1. Take a point on the left, figured out that was a point and it labeled it point 1. All of that was done at the machine measuring your part without having to go back and forth between the software. So now what we're going to do is actually use the software to create an alignment with those features. So we go to the next button here, our new alignment. We simply pick those three features and let PCDMIS figure out what the best alignment is for that. And it does so, it does it very logically, and best of all, it displays that alignment down here um, on the screen. So if, uh, if it happens to come up with an alignment that you don't like or you want to change, it's right there, it's viewable, you can go and change it any which way that you like. From here, what I'd like to do is um, maybe show you a, a different screen here, another layout. Uh, the reason being, I want to show you this screen down here called the uh, status window. The status window is very nice for manual machines, and basically what it allows you to do is just sort of walk yourself around the part. Again, you're at the machine now. You're not at the software. Um, as you walk yourself around the part and say done, you look over at the screen, and it's giving you the relevant information for that feature automatically in the status window. So in this case, it's telling me that that, that line measured um, a quarter inch from my alignment. Let's go uh, measure the back line. 
Again, it figures out not only that that's a line, but it's a line in a different direction, and it's now displaying the Y coordinate for that line, and it measured it at 3.95. If I have a circle instead, I measure my circle, say that I'm done, and it updates the information in the status window, in this case, for a circle, which is the location, X and Y, and uh, D for diameter. Okay. If I want to know the depth of this counter bore, again, just take my machine, take a point on it, and it will update the screen with, again, the relevant information for that feature. Okay. Um, again, nice little tool here, status window. There's uh, a lot of uses for manual CMMs. Um, one of them is simply just, you know, quick, down and dirty, take some measurements and, and view some results. And that's one of the benefits of that status window. All right, let's go back to my simple layout here. Let's say I want to go um, also, I want to measure this angle line because I want to get an angle eventually uh, between those two. And um, let's say I want to measure, I don't know, it's another circle. Okay. So we've measured a, a bunch of different kinds of features. We're going to now go and dimension that stuff. Let's go to my dimension toolbar is here on the right. I've got every possible dimension you can think of. Location, true position, distance. Uh, also have profile and uh, run out. Uh, for this example, we're going to do a location. And uh, we're going to pick everything on the screen. Notice what it does here. It allows me to graphically select the features on the graphics so I don't have to remember the feature names. I can then go tell it to not report certain features. Again, by clicking in the window with a list of features or by clicking on the graphic, either way. I can go put in a generic tolerance and say, go do that. What PCDMIS did was it just added those five dimensions automatically just to show you the report that we generated. Here's the report. It's a smart report. So, for example, the line, uh, the first line, it's reporting just the X. The second line is reporting just the Y. The radius, it's reporting uh, X, Y, and diameter. Uh, the single point, it's reporting in Z. And then the uh, the ID circle again, uh, it's reporting X, Y, and D. We're going to come back to this report in just a second. For now, we're going to turn it off. Uh, I want to go do some other dimensions. Let's say I want the angle between this feature and this feature. This is one of the really nice features of the software. Again, you're going to be measuring lots of features, and this list over here in the in this angle menu. It's going to be pretty long potentially. So, to have to scroll through that window to find the feature names that you want uh, can be time consuming. So, you don't have to do that with PCDMS. Again, you just click on the screen where the features are and it selects them for you. In this case, I want to change the tolerance to plus or minus a degree. Say go, and it just added that to my uh, report. Okay. Super. Let's go take a look at the. Um, let's go take a look at the report now. Actually, let's go and um, let's run it, and then we'll take a look at the report. How about that? So we're going to go play this program back, just in case uh, we have a second part, for example. And when it plays it back, what it does is it actually is pointing to where you're supposed to go to take your hit. That's another really nice thing uh, about the software in the, its use on a manual machine is that you don't have to type in a bunch of text explaining where you're supposed to go to take your hits. It actually will tell you that for you. As you take your hit, it automatically will redraw the probe to the next point you're supposed to take. And so on and so, forth, so on. So there's my plane. It tells me to take my front line on the left side and then on the right side and then my single point and then all the rest of the features. Okay, it's all complete. And it then would have printed the report either to the printer or to a PDF file, whichever you've chosen. And let's go take a look at that report now. Blow that up a little bit. Because you've got some choices over here. 
This is a very simple report. It's actually uh, telling you what the feature is, line two, line three, circle one, and in, uh, in the results. But you can also, if you want, combine the graphic window. In this case, it, this graphic window has the CAD model, but yours might just have the features drawn on the screen. Um, with the labels and the dimensions uh, of those labels. If there are more dimensions that can fit on a screen, then it goes to the next page and does those labels and those dimensions. If you want a simpler looking report, you can do something like this, which shows basically deviation boxes, which you can, if you want, double click and drag around. And again, save this to a PDF file or um, print to a printer. Another kind of report, you first of all, you've got these seven different templates that you can choose from. I'm only going to show you a few of them. The last one I'll show you here is the PPAP report. Again, very typical sort of PPAP report that uh, basically tells you if you're good or you're bad and gives you what the results are. Okay. Excellent. All right, um, let's see, uh, that's about it for my, I do want to show you one other thing real quick. So far I've showed you everything with a CAD model. So obviously a lot of you on a manual machine are not going to be buying our PCDMS CAD product, um, but instead we'll be buying our uh, lesser expensive PCDMS Pro product. And you're going to be measuring uh, your part without the assistance of a CAD model, which is perfectly fine. Just to show you what that would look like, I'm going to go in and turn off the CAD model and the probe. Kind of show you what that looks like. This is at an orthogonal view. I'll just look straight down on it since this is a pretty simple part. Okay. And there it is. There's your part. Everything you've measured is on the screen again drawn and labeled okay so again that's what you're going to see if you don't have a CAD model with PC Demus on the graphic window um, I hope I've answered all your questions if not please feel free to give me a call or set up a live demonstration uh, at your facility thank you very much